So Brooks Kepka on to the Live Golf Series. Now they've got eight of the top 50. Do you think ultimately the PGA is in trouble? Yeah, I do. And if I were forecasting in five to 10 years down the road, what you typically have when a upstart league arises and proves that it has viability is eventually there's a merger and a sue for peace scenario. Um, and uh, I, I think that's probably where you, know, you think about the AFL and the NFL. I think that's potentially where we could be headed uh, with Liv and the PGA Tour is before all is said and done, that's the, uh, that's the solution that could make sense going forward. Yeah. But that might take five or ten years. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. The courts are going to end up settling this out. I don't think these guys are going to be permanently banned from the PGA Tour because I don't think the courts are going to support that. I don't think they're going to be able to. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to do that. I also think the guys might not care about it. I mean, if you're getting paid way more to play less events, isn't that kind of what everybody would want? And if you still get to play, I know you, Brown, are a really big golf fan, but 80% of golf fans watch the majors. Yes. And as long as the majors all have the best golfers in the world in them, I don't think that many people care about you know the other 25 stops on the PGA Tour or whatever it is. Um, and, and how that compares to the live tour and whatnot. 